Hi, everyone. So I'm going to just hang for a second or two. Um, let this notification go out. Let you all know that I am live. And go from here. Let me make sure that we are all set. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Join as you can. Say hello. Let me know what you're doing. Oops. They changed the whole live thing. Did you notice? They changed it all. Um, now, can I see how many people are on or no? Not really, huh? Hi, everyone. Mm, why is it not this new? They have okay, so they have a new hi. They have a new way to go live. Um, their live studio has changed and um, I'm learning like the rest of you, but it's not telling me how many people are on. So to me, that's kind of, if I go and look at it on my phone or on another, here, let me do it that way instead. Let me do it from my phone. Um, online and I'll make sure to shut off the bear with me guys hang with me this is what this is all about right when we go live we are ourselves and that's what it, the beauty of this is um... hi everyone off. There we go. Okay, now I can see comments. Okay, can you hear me all right? Can you see me all right? All that good stuff. Um, I'm doing an impromptu today. We're doing an impromptu and that's okay because I think you guys are all worth it. And um, I was going to go and, and I have some team members in here. I was going to go just on my team page and I said, you know, this message really could be for everyone. And I have a lot of team members in here, so I will um, link this video into my team page and it'll all be good. Remember, if you do link a video from this group into your own group, they have to be part of this group in order to see it. You know the whole deal, right? Okay, so let's do, let, let's, oh, no, stay on page. I want to get rid of these notifications so that I can see the... Um, chat which they've got on the chat roll is on the left hand side now um they just changed it all around what a perfect segue right we hate change hate change people human beings just have a strange way of dealing with change um and we all have our own way of dealing with that change um and as we delve into this new world, right? We've got a lot of things that are happening right now um, stemming from the coronavirus, and I'm not going to shy away from saying it. I know we've talked about it a lot, but I think that it's super important that we come together and understand where we're at. And I wanted to share some thoughts with you guys. I want to share some ideas with you guys um, and maybe lift some spirits up um, maybe give you some insight as to things that um, you can do for yourself, for your business, for your family that will um, help you through this. Okay. So different parts of the country are getting different types of uh, alerts. They're getting some closures. Some are not closing. Um, some are closing until May. Some are closing until the end of March. Um, 
businesses are being shifted. And so I kind of want to talk a little bit about Sensi specifically, how this can affect us, but at the same token, how it can benefit us. And to do it in a way that is respectful and um, just classy, right? Just classy. So as our business goes, um, if you don't know this, then I'm gonna give you some insight. We have products such as our warmers, diffusers, and Sensi Buddies that I know off the top of my head that are actually manufactured in China. And our warehouses are fine. China's a big country. It's a big, big, big country, right? Um, yes, there's thousands of people that have been affected by this virus, but at the same token, there are still pieces of our of that country that are functioning as normal, okay? The other part to that is that some, in some cases, and I don't know this to be factual 100%, I just know that it's been mentioned, um, that the possibility of the items that were made in China or that are being made in China are on a boat, they're on a ship, and that ship has to stay out in the ocean before it ports for at least two weeks. The travel time to get here is approximately that time frame anyway. So the fact of the matter is that I highly doubt that anything would survive if, in fact, there was something sent over on the ship. It's just unfeasible. It's not going to happen. The other beauty to this is that um, we have really smart owners and our warehouses are pretty full. Now, like any business, like any company that sells products, there's going to be products that are on back order. It happens without a virus, right? So take that into consideration understand that there's going to be back orders make sure you're setting the expectations for your customers and just know that it's going to be okay it's going to be okay there's going to be some products that go on back order there's some that are going to be shipping out as normal and it's going to be great so do not allow or create stories that are not factual in regards to the products that are coming from china Okay. At this point, there is no need to worry about it. They are, um, we have really smart home office people. I don't know if you guys know that. They're super diligent. They're working with the CDC. They're working with the WHO. They are working with the people that matter in regards to this virus. And so they're not going to put anybody in danger. Why would they want to do that? They are so family oriented. They would never, ever, ever put anybody's lives in jeopardy. Okay. So just take that right off your plate. Okay. Second thing, how will this affect our business itself? It will. It's inevitable that it's going to touch your business somehow. Okay. If you are a person that does events, then you're probably going to get affected. Um, Robbie Vitali on my team um, is a huge events person and he just had seven of his events cancel and that's pretty much his livelihood within the Sensi business. However, the type of person that he is is not going to allow this to shred his business. He's going to find alternative ways to build on his business. Um, he called it a blessing in disguise because he felt that all of his eggs were in the events basket. And now that the events are gone, he's kind of, you know, trying to figure out. It's kind of us, us saying all of our eggs are in the Facebook basket and all we're doing is Facebook parties when actuality, there's all types of platforms that we can be utilizing to do online virtual parties. Hence the reason I changed the name of this group. Okay. So will it affect you if you're doing events? Yeah. What's the name of this group? Online virtual party group. Can you have social distancing online? <laughs> yeah. So I'm here to tell you, there are going to be two camps of people. It's inevitable. You're gonna have the camp of people that say, you know what? Financially, we're struggling. Sensi is an indulgence. We're not going to buy Sensi right now. It is what it is. And you know what? We're going to respect that. As consultants, we will respect that because ultimately 
they're going to find that their money is used in a different aspect, in a better aspect for their family. Let's respect that, okay? Because there's the other camp. And the other camp of people are saying, you know what? I gotta have to be quarantined in this home for 14 days, for a month, for two months, however long they make us stay in our homes and not do things. You're darn tootin' I want my home to smell good. I want to have an influx of joy brought through the fragrance that's going to be influxed into my home, right? So you're gonna have those two camps of people and both camps of people are right. They're both right and they're both good and they're both um, should be respected, okay? So we're not gonna target those people you know, we ask them, you know, we can ask them, hey, you know, do you want to send up your home while you're having to stay home? And if they say, yeah, you know what? I don't really have the extra funds right now. My husband just got put out of work. I'm not working, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to spend money on what I'm calling an indulgence. I respect that. That's okay. When things change, come back to me. Okay. They're going to respect you for that. And I guarantee you'll come, they'll come back to you when the time is right. Now, what's the flip side to that, right? They're struggling. Here's an opportunity for you to say, well, I don't want to push this on you, but if you could make some extra money, would you want to do it while you guys are laid up? I can offer you an opportunity to do that with Sensi, right? Don't push it on them, but offer it to them. It's an opportunity. You could be blessing their lives, right? Okay. Camp number one. Camp number two. Yes, I want to make my home smell beautiful, blah, blah, blah. I usually do home parties. I usually do events. I usually do basket parties. Those three involve community interaction, like physical interaction for the most part, because you could, you could mail a basket party if you wanted to. Online virtual parties, we don't got to touch nobody, <laughs> right? We don't got to touch anybody. We can just do. So perfect example, I had a home party scheduled for Saturday. They felt much more comfortable canceling it. I said, you know what, that's perfectly fine. Why don't we take the home party and we'll move it online, we'll have it Monday night and everybody can still party, but we'll do it in our own homes, right? What a blessing that we have the opportunity to do that. What a blessing. And so the way that I'm running my party tonight is exactly the way that I would have been doing a home party. I have everything set up. I've got all my, it's on my counter. I should show you, but I can't because I can't move the, ca the camera. I have all of the product that I have that I want to show kind of set up in a horseshoe on my counter. And my stool is going to be here and the camera is going to be there. And I'm just going to show and talk, show and talk, show and talk, interact with my customers, do the exact same thing I would have done if I was in her home. We're still going to play the games. We're still going to do some demo. We're still going to do Q and A. We're still going to get the orders and we're still going to have a party. Okay. Now here's the kicker. Some of you, that's all you've ever done is events and home parties. So this is brand spanking new for you. The fear that I want to remove from you is that if you can stand in front of five to 20 people, in somebody's home, you can stand in front of a camera with nobody in the room and show the product, just like you would at a home party, exactly the way that you would have as a home party. And you know what? To tell you the truth, live is going to be much more crucial now than doing static posts. Static posts are when we just post a picture about something and write something about it. Post a picture, write something. Post a picture, write. That's a static party not a lot of interaction happening there. There could be because people are commenting underneath, but we are going to be lacking social interaction with this quarantine, right? So going live right now is super, super crucial and important. We need to stay connected. We need to be able to see people's faces, express their or ingest their expressions, um, we need to feel the importance that we have in that person's life by interacting with them, 
okay? If you have a hostess, bring them on camera with you. You can do a split screen when you go live. You can invite people online. I think you can only do it from, I don't know, I don't know if I can do it from here. I've not, this, this is a new studio that they're doing on live, which is fine. Um, I still got to learn and I'm kind of glad that I went live today because I didn't realize that they had changed it. Um, but when you are on your phone and you go live, you can actually invite somebody to come on camera with you. So now you've got a split screen of your hostess and you, you've got some interaction going on. Your customers and guests are able to see both of you just like they would at a home party. The only downfall is you don't get to see them unless you invite them on camera, right? And you can do that. You can do that. So, you know, here's another option. Have a Zoom party. Have a Zoom party where everybody's live on there, right? It doesn't have to be here on Facebook. Invite them through a link on Zoom. You know, there's just multiple ways that you can make this happen for you and make it work amidst this chaos. Okay. Um, I want to make sure that you guys lift each other up. Let's help each other through this. Um, let's pray for cures. Let's pray for uh, lack of illnesses and that this can move through quickly and we can be done with it and move on and look back at it later saying, boy, did I grow from that? Boy, did I learn from that, right? Like Robbie told me earlier or told our team earlier, he feels that this is a godsend. This was a message for him to say, you got to get all your eggs out of the event basket and spread your business into other areas so that you are not in this quagmire, okay? What if we woke up tomorrow and Facebook was gone? If you don't have other means of doing online parties, then you're kind of hurting your business right? So think outside the box, stay within compliance and make this happen for you. Okay. We've got all kinds of good stuff coming out today. We get the Easter bundle bundle. We've got, um, oh my God, God, I remember now the jelly bean collection, bunch of stuff happening today. Go make it happen. Just be respectful for those that are holding on to their money right now or budgeting in a different way than you would want them to as a customer. And focus on the people that are wanting to bring fragrance into their home to make their hearts happy and to embrace what's happening um, in the current world situation. All right. I love you guys. Good luck. And uh, I'm here if you guys need anything. Okay.